Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. To the truck, now we take a sprint. I wasn't made to jog. I'm on ships, rolling calls a grip. I'm what's made to not stop. This guy's wrestling is at such a high level. He's got the collegiate credentials to prove it and figures to lean on the wrestling in this particular matchup tonight. So good at not just getting guys down, but controlling them once they're on the canvas. Even when the opponent knows what's coming, more often than not, they just can't stop this guy's shot. This guy is an excellent grappler. What he wants to do here is get a hold of his opponent and bring the fight to his world. Either press him up against the cage, rough him up with dirty boxing, or drag him to the ground, control him, and possibly submit him. So the decorated submission specialist has arrived on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. And even at the UFC level, not a lot of guys are used to facing submission opponents at this level. Gotta think, path of least resistance tonight is to take the fight to the ground and look to set up some of those patented chokes or tail. All right, you ready? You ready? Well, this building has hosted some of the biggest fights in boxing history, and now MMA making its presence felt. We are underway and ready for live action here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. So after a win by knockout in his UFC debut, here he is making the walk yet again. We'll see if he can move to 2-0 in the UFC, and that could set him up for a potential contender-type fight. This is a guy who is all the rage with fight fans right now, given what he did in the debut, and now you got to think he'll certainly have even more confidence as he makes the walk here tonight. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Hurt wow, him with that uppercut. uppercut. The left hook hits home. Oh, huge uppercut lands again. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Blocks the shot. Big oh, uppercut. uppercut landed for him. Hit nice him hook hard lands. with that hook. Oh, huge shot there. And a nice one. Oh, oh, he got caught. He is getting off some huge punches here. Back to the feet. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. And he connects there, Joe. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. And they separate. Oh, blocks the shot. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. Oh! He's hurt bad. That's it, he's here. out, he's out. The fight is wow. over. Wow, wow. Nasty ground and pound for the win. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound. And it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight. And that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next. And ultimately, the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. Great angle here. And he's out. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Wigliotta has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends. 
after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. Coming up next.